Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Are you looking for the very best $350 laptop computer you can buy today? Then stop, you found it. This is the Acer Aspire E15 laptop computer for $350. This is a great deal. Email, web browsing, watching videos such as this one, Netflix, light gaming, image editing, video editing. This computer will do an amazing amount of things for $350. Yes, there are faster computers on the market, but in terms of performance for the dollar, in terms of all the features you get, this might be the best deal on a laptop computer on the market today. And I know that's a big statement, but bear with me. I'm going to talk about why and I'm going to go through all the features. And then we're going to unbox this and I'm going to show it to you. Coming up in a future video is going to be first boot Windows update. I'll show you how to set it up and get all the programs and everything running on it. Then I will do Windows Performance. I'll show you how well it multitasks, running multiple web browsers, playing multiple videos, doing a variety of things. Then I will do some light gaming on it. League of Legends, Dota 2, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Rocket League, Minecraft. Games like that will play just fine on this laptop. Let me talk about the hardware specifications briefly. Intel's i3-7100. Two cores, four threads, 2.4 gigahertz. What does all that mean? Essentially, it's good at multitasking. It's a good mid-level chip from Intel. It is a seventh generation chip. It just came out in the fall of 2016, so this is the latest and greatest technology. It is not some year or two or three year old chip. It's very, very brand new. 2.4 gigahertz is fast enough for most people and it will handle multitasking well enough. It comes with four gigabytes of system RAM. Now, four gigabytes is enough for casual use. It can easily be upgraded to eight or 12, and I will do a video showing how to do that in the future, and that will be linked in the description below once that is finished. It comes with a one terabyte hard drive. This is all the storage most people need. Many cheap laptops only have a 250 or a 500 gig. This has one terabyte, plenty of space. DVD drive, it does have a DVD reader and writer, so it will read and write CDs, read and write DVDs. This laptop has AC Wi-Fi. What is that? It's the wireless chip, which is basically the latest and greatest technology. It's the fastest available chip on the market today. If you are going to school, to work, to a coffee shop, and you want to access the internet, this has a very good wireless chip in it. It's, it's basically the best there is, is. AC is the newest and greatest standard. This laptop has a 15.6 inch full HD 1080p display LED backlit. At this price point, it's basically the best screen you're going to get. It's very, very nice. It also has a claimed 12 hour battery life. I will do a battery test in the future using PC Mark's battery rundown test. I do not expect it to last 12 hours. I don't think that's a realistic claim, but I would be surprised if you got less than five or six hours out of it, out of light web browsing, email, uh, social media use, etc. Gaming, it won't last as long, but for general Windows use, I think five to six hours is probably a respectable amount to expect out of it. It also comes with Windows 10 Home, a complete computer, including screen, keyboard, operating system, storage, DVD drive, $350, that is a deal. Well, that's enough talking about it. How about we open it up and show it to you, shall we? Let's, uh, here we go. I know it's a plain brown box. It's not very exciting. Let's take a look inside, shall we? I'll put my box cutter over here to the sign. <laughs> That's funny. Take a look at this. Having trouble? Contact Acer first. Basically what this is saying is they don't want you sending it right back if you have a problem without contacting them first. Amazon has some of the best customer service in the, in the world. They really do. There's a reason why I buy almost everything from Amazon. I also buy a lot from Newegg, but I buy a ton from Amazon. And the answer is if you have a problem with this, Amazon will have a new one on your doorstep within 24 to 48 hours. Power cord, pretty standard, and a laptop, pretty standard. Otherwise, there's not much inside this box. There are a couple of pamphlets in here, and this is information for international travelers, one year limited warranty, parts and labor, software support 90 days. Now, this says international travelers, 
if you do plan to travel internationally. All right, so I've opened this up and looked through this. And essentially what this says is the one year warranty is principally designed to be used within your home country, whatever country you bought this in. However, Acer does offer international traveling warranty. So if you are traveling overseas, they do have warranty coverage overseas and they provide contact information for many countries. If you are traveling overseas with this and you have a problem, they do provide overseas service. That's actually pretty cool. There's nothing else exciting in this box. I'll go ahead and close it up. I just trimmed that because I took the time to read it to see exactly what it said. Declaration of conformity. This is a legal document. You can safely ignore that. And then you have a quick setup guide. Let me make this really easy. Take the power cord, plug it in the laptop, plug it in the wall, press the power button, turn it on. It's really pretty straightforward. I know, you know, not everybody knows that, but it's unlike desktops, laptops are pretty simple. There's not much to do. We'll take this out. This is actually rather nice. This is a nice piece of felt protecting it. Take a look at that. Very, very nice. Now, this is not metal, even though it's designed to look like metal. It's plastic. $350, what do you expect? The bottom of it? Now, I won't show it to you in this video, but in an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the RAM. It's gonna be under this panel. I know this because I already own an E15, the $550 model. You'll be able to install it. It'll take two minutes, so you can upgrade it if you want. And then when we open it up, there it is. They provide a protective piece of felt here to protect the screen against the keyboard. And then you've got the laptop. Here's what I will say about this. This is basically identical to the E15 that I already own that I've done a review on the $550 model. I will put a link to that in the description below. Sitting here looking at it, it looks like the exact same computer. The only major differences are this has an i3 instead of an i5, and this has a hard drive instead of a solid state drive, and four gigs of RAM instead of eight. But it's $200 less. The keyboard's the same, the mouse is the same, the screen is the same, the stickers are the same. The DVD drive placement's the same. It's the same laptop. So I can already tell you I'm gonna be happy with it in terms of feel. The palm rest is nice, the keys. Well, it's a chiclet keyboard. Lap I, don't, I don't personally care for any laptop keyboards. I've been asked in other videos, which laptop do I like the keyboard the most on? None of them, <laughs> because they don't have full-size keyboards. I like full travel desktop keyboards where the key actually has proper travel. And none of the laptops made today do that, so it is what it is. When I do the first boot and Windows update, and when I do the Windows performance review, I will talk more and show more in detail about the keyboard and the mouse and the screen and whatnot. It's, because it's not turned on, I can't do that in this video. But what I do want to show you, I'll go ahead and close it so I can hold it up easier is on the right side of the laptop is the DVD drive. There is a, a single type A USB port over here. Headphone jack is right down here on the front. Make it easy to get access if you want to plug wired headphones in. The power port is right here in the back. There is nothing on the back of the computer. There's no ports or plugs on the back. And then on the left side of the laptop, there is a vent here to allow ventilation air. There is a lock. If you use a Kensington lock, it's, um, other companies sell it, but it's just called that because they originally came up with the design. But if, if you, for example, are going to school or work and you want to keep this so people can't steal it, there are inexpensive locks you can buy that will plug into this port and then you can wrap the steel cable around something like a, a bolted desk or um, a pole in your dorm room, for example, that will make it so that it's very hard for somebody to steal your computer. Then you've got a type C USB port. This is the new uh, reversible type USB port that just came out. There aren't a lot of type C devices yet, but it's nice to have. Then you have a RJ45 ethernet jack. That's really nice. If you have wired ethernet networking, uh, next, either next to your router or in your home, office or school, you will get faster speed uh, faster file transfer by plugging in a RJ45 Ethernet cable rather than using the wireless. So you have the option. You can use the wireless or the wired Ethernet. Then we've got a VGA port. Now, VGA, Video Graphics Array, may be out of date at this point. Most monitors have an HDMI port, but it's nice to have. 
Many offices, many schools still have older projectors that they've had for many years that only have a VGA port. What's nice about the VGA port is if you're traveling somewhere and they only have a, a projector that uses VGA, it's got it built in. You don't have to mess with adapters, converters, or anything else. So it's handy in that regard. Next to that, we have our HDMI port, which if you're going to connect an external monitor, I would recommend you use that if you can. And then we have two more USB 3.0 super speed ports. So you have four USB ports on this. That is all the expansion that most people need. If you need more than that, well, you might need more computer than this. Up here, we have our HD webcam. No, that's not a super fancy webcam, but for things like Skype for just video conferencing or for streaming your games, if you're playing like League of Legends and you want to live stream your games, you can absolutely do that from this laptop. Well, that's my unboxing and overview of the Acer Aspire E15 $350 laptop computer. For the money, for a full Windows computer, this deal can't be beat. Check out the upcoming videos in the description below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the big red uh, subscribe button down there to get notified of when the upcoming videos on this come out. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't remember to subscribe to my channel with the big red button down there. Questions and comments in the comments box. And as always, check out my video description. Not only will there be links to upcoming videos on this computer, I will put my link to the uh, full playlist of the $550 model of this and the link to go buy it from Amazon. If you like this video and it was helpful, by all means, go check it out because Amazon has great, great deals. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.